What's up fish friends, it's Alex here, your friendly reef dog, and today I'm going to give you the lowdown from my visit to the Coral Centre. Now if you're new to the channel, I put out a video every Friday at 4pm UK time showing you how to set up and maintain an awesome reef tank. So if that's your goal, have a think about subscribing. Right, let's take a look. Now I did intend to show you an interview with Rob, he's a real hobbyist man and I'd love to show you that, however the audio came out like this. So instead, I'm going to talk you through my visit in my usual style and I'll come back to talk to him next time. The Coral Centre is an aquaculture facility based on the south coast of England. It was established in 2011 and moved to these shiny new premises four months ago. It's run by founder Rob, who tells me it could be the largest sustainable coral farm in Europe by the end of September, by which time there will be 460 square feet of coral tanks. And that is just the tip of the iceberg. Rob's adding new trays all the time and is already looking at setting up an even larger facility in the future. So what has Rob got going on here then? Well there are currently 16 coral trays that hold around one and a half thousand frags each, so with the trays that will be added soon, Rob will have capacity for over 50,000 corals at any one time. Now that is a mind-blowing number of corals that only starts to make sense when you take a step back and look at what Rob is building here. And as you can see, that capacity is helped by the unique setup where the coral trays are stacked above one another to make the best possible use of space. Rob's background is working behind the scenes of a large hardware store in the UK called B&Q, so he's an expert in making use of this kind of efficient setup. And it doesn't hurt that they use top-end equipment here that is also likely to be the same equipment that many of you guys will have at home. Now, I recently visited another UK aquaculture facility called Frag Farm that specialises in high-end SPS corals. But the Coral Centre differs in that Rob's goal is to provide corals for everybody and not just the top end of the hobby. And the Coral Centre is proof that hardy, beginner-friendly corals don't all have to look the same. The trays here are filled with awesome zoas, mushrooms and leather corals, and frankly you've never seen so many frags in all your life. There are endless varieties here, all with different colours, patterns, shapes and sizes. I took all of this footage under white lights so you can see a true picture of what they look like, but zoas look absolutely fantastic under blue LEDs and you could make a truly stunning reef tank with just these zoas from the coral centre. As well as fields of zoas, Rob has some stunning mushroom corals. We're talking multicoloured iridescent mushrooms that could be the highlight of your tank. And because these corals are all beginner friendly, they're suitable for people who have little to no experience with keeping corals. Away from the soft corals, the Coral Centre also has jungles of hardy, easy to keep stony corals. It's awesome to see so many corals in one place, and it's not something you get to see very often, certainly away from the natural reefs of the world. When a new coral arrives at the Coral Centre, it's allowed to settle for months and years before it's fragged, during which time the water is tested every day to ensure it grows up to be happy, healthy and strong. The beauty of agriculture done properly like this is that you can be more or less 100% certain that you will end up with a much, much hardier coral as a result. Rob's aim is to frag corals, let them grow, then frag the new growth, which will mean the end buyer gets a coral that has spent its entire life in aquarium conditions. So it will be used to things like fluctuating water parameters, LED lights, and all the other conditions we have in our tanks that it wouldn't normally experience in the wild. Now if you've been following the channel recently, you'll know I'm a huge fan of properly aquacultured corals like these. You get a product that's cheaper than wild caught corals and is far more likely to not just survive, but thrive in your tank. Essentially, wild corals are most likely to die when they are first introduced to aquarium conditions. And because the Coral Centre keeps corals for years before fragging and selling them, they are essentially taking all of the risk, meaning you are all but guaranteed a coral that will take to your aquarium like a duck to water particularly given that you are likely to end up with a 100% homegrown coral. As well as that, buying frags is a much neater way to set up a nano tank, and the chances of getting pests on corals are minute compared to wild caught corals. And crucially, a well settled frag will grow quicker than freshly cut frags because they've settled, healed, and are already growing at the coral centre before they're shipped. And of course there's the sustainability side to consider. The hobby can't keep importing millions and millions of corals worldwide each year, so proper agriculture facilities like this are the future of the hobby. The Coral Centre aims to be 99% sustainable within three years, and once they've bought a single frag of one coral, they can grow it, frag it, and keep it forever, so they don't have to keep taking corals away from the reefs. 
And as if that's not enough, the Coral Centre is also involved in research and is in talks with universities and scientists around the world to work together on various projects. Rob is currently working on different types of frag plugs to see which help corals grow most quickly. And within four to five years, Rob wants to start sending his frags back to the reefs. And if you combine that with the research they're doing to help grow corals quickly, that represents an opportunity for the hobby to start giving back. Giving back is at the heart of what Rob does here, and as part of that, they're going to be running a coral program to help hobbyists frag their own corals. Later in the year, Rob will start a You Can Frag It series, which will include on-site learning sessions and a YouTube series right here on the Reef Dog. Rob will be showing you how to frag corals like a pro to make sure you're aware of any health and safety issues, as well as fragging all different types of coral in a way that will allow them to recover and thrive as quickly as possible. Now, if you like what you see here, you can buy their corals on their website. The Coral Center is also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and I'll put links to all of that in the description below. And from October, the Coral Center will start selling to shops. So ask your local shop if they have Coral Center frags, and if the answer is no, ask them to get some in. Now, I'd like to thank Rob for showing me around his facility. It's been an absolute pleasure visiting, and I can't wait to come back. So there you have it then, that is the Coral Centre. I'd love to know what you guys think about the place, so let me know in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for next Friday's video. And until next time, happy reefing.